Hello everyone, welcome back to The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker. In the last episode, we, we are now working on uh, Dragon Roost Cavern. I had to remember the name. And now, we're about to get the, uh, the big key, the boss key, that'll lead us to the boss of the first temple. I saw, I'm sorry if I sounded out of breath. I rushed back here because I was like, got one more recording tonight. One more. This is my last recording for the night because I already did all the Final Fantasies and stuff. I'm super out of breath because I was running uh, here. I need to get back into shape. I'm, I'm not getting any younger, I'll tell you that. But anyway, we are so close to finishing this dungeon. We literally just need the boss key. Then we can go back up, get uh, get those few chests, make sure I have a revive because we're definitely going to possibly need one because of all the lava. And then we're good. Now here's the problem part. These little dudes... I need one of them to sit right there. Hold on. Let him, let him attack. You have to hit him directly on the eye. And you have a few seconds. Yes, because I wanted you to throw him. We have to be quick. We have to be quick. He's a, he's about to wake up. It wouldn't let me. What the hell? He refused. There we go. Come on. Let me in. Boss key is ours. I'll try to rush it as fast as possible. <sighs> You got the big key. Use it to gain entrance to the room where the dungeon's boss lurks. Yes, yes, yes. I already know how to do this. We can ignore him now. Because if you kill him, this is what happens. This is for if you accidentally end up killing him. Then... I think it's... A few minutes from now, or a, few, a little bit from now, another one spawns. But since I pressed the button and got the key, I don't think it's going to spawn another one. Nah. It probably does, but I'm not paying attention. Now the fire bats are here. Fire bats are easy. They do they they have the same amount of hit points as a regular bat. Or I'm sorry, key. Gotta be careful. Don't fall in the lava. Don't fall in the lava. Oh, I saw that. <laughs> Look at him go. Give me my heart back. Get this. Okay, we're back on track. We get the boss key, we get the item. Can I climb up a little bit? Down just a little bit. Turn a little bit. There we go. We got the boss key, we got the item, we got the compass, we got the dungeon map. We're set. Let's do this. Whee! All I gotta do is climb back up and I can, uh... And I can get, uh... Woo! Not going there. All I gotta do is go back up. I keep, like, getting distracted whenever I'm talking. And then, um... We, uh... The door should be right there. Elevators are awesome in this world. This one's surrounded by lava. Alright, I think it's... Yeah, I need water, so let's kill these guys. That moblin was hanging on for his dear life. You can hear him. He's struggling. Okay, moblins are nothing. Don't worry about them. All we need is this water. And now we play the waiting game. Up we go. Got the grapple ready, so just gotta grapple up. <sighs> We're so close to finishing this dungeon, ladies and gentlemen. So close. We gotta... Yes, I get it, Valu. It sucks, but I told you, Pepto-Bismol will help you. Literally, gonna need some Pepto-Bismol. 
Let's be honest. We've all been there. We've all been Valu at one point in our lives. No, no reason to be ashamed. Most, uh, I'm going to assume most of us are adults here. We've all been there. It's just the facts of life. Hello? Alright, can I get some health? One of y'all give me health. Health, 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 health. Nothing. Completely nothing. Alright. What's in this chest? A yellow rupee. Okay, he doesn't, he just, he's not even bothered by me. He's just ignoring me. A knight's crest. This is something uh, you get from Iron Knuckles. I'm sorry, uh, uh, Dark Nuts. All who are skilled in the ways of the sword know the value of a crest such as this. Here we go. Ooh, need that. That's a fairy. Drink new Booyah Fairy in a bottle. It'll revive you if you die. Okay, so basically, you don't need to use it. A lot of people who've never, you know, beaten any of these games would use it, like, automatically. But no, it's, it's mainly meant for if you run out of hearts, it'll automatically revive you. It'll put you at a set amount of hearts. I think most of the time it's three hearts. But I've played a few that bring you back to at least, like, I think, uh, six. Blue's Tale. Look at that lava pool right there. No wonder he's stuck in a rock. Hey, look, it's the thing that's, uh, that's, in, that's hurting him. We better call Dale's dead bug. Because he's going to need everything he's got to kill this bug. Hold on. Come on, go for it. You know you want that first attack. Come on. You failed. Okay, I'll, I'll give you that one. Ow. You are a bully. I'm trying. There we go. That's what I was trying to do. He's like, what the hell? There's part one. We gotta do this three times. Get my heart back. Okay, now we gotta wait. His tail's gonna sit for a second, and then... Round two. And... Like, once you get it the first time, it, it gets super freaking easy. Because then you literally just wait. And you can be prepared for it. You need to be at least right about there to get his tail. Don't worry about the giant bug. And he missed. You missed, sucker! Uh-oh. It's okay. I don't think that counts as, a da as damage, because it's cutscene. Got one more in him. He oh, no, no, he's, he's good. Round one complete. And now he's weak. Now you can't use the rock, so you have to rely on your damage. Let him do his things. Why? Yeah. 
And he's dead. Yeah, just uh, just to let you guys know, the grappling hook is one way you can damage him, uh, uh, like bring him down, so it's quicker. And that's how you beat this boss easily. He's one of the easiest bosses to beat. Ba boom! My first heart piece, or my first heart container. There, Valu should be way happier now. But before we grab that, let's grab this. There we go. That's four hearts now, boys. We're stronger than ever. See? Shade agrees. Whoa. Huh? Huh? Cool, man. Trippy. Valu is happy. He said, oh, thank God. Every man's sigh of relief. He's fine. And we get teleported back. Whoa! Oh, oh god. Oh, I'm dizzy. Shade! Well, Prince Kamali, don't you have something you want to say? Um, I heard everything from Medley. Shade, thank you so much. I'm sorry I mistrusted you. I hope I can be like you someday, Shade. You will, Kamali. I just know it. Right, Shade? He'll never be like me. I'm too cool. So, Shade, here. I want you to take this, Shade. Giving you the thing I value most will give me the courage I need to stand up to bad things. You've received Den's Pearl. This is the gem the Ritos claim was passed down from the Great Goddess. The Great Valu is grateful to you, Shade. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. On New Game Plus, that's translated, so you can understand them on New Game Plus. Use the Wind God's wind? That's what he said, but I don't understand. I wonder what it means. Technically, you were supposed to do this uh, before, uh, I mean, after you uh, you finished. The Wind God's wind? I wonder if, he, if what he's talking about has anything to do with the wind shrine that's through that tunnel. Oh, I almost forgot. The Great Valu also names you Shade, a true hero. I agree with him. As far as we're concerned, Shade, you really are a hero. I know. Well, I'm going to go and visit Valu. I'll come and see you sometime with the best pair of wings ever. I have better wings. Hey, Prince Kamali. Thanks so much, Shade. See you again someday. Cool. But yeah, basically you were supposed to go um, to the shrine after you defeated the dungeon, but I like to go before. Yep. Forgot to do this. He almost let me drown. We gotta go that way. Can I get on now? Or am I gonna drown again? Thank you. And a little bit more right there, and off we go. Ah, the sea. She be a call at me. I eventually want to play Assassin's Creed Black Flag on here. Hi, hold it right there, small fry. I love this dude. 
I don't know where you got your mitts on that sea chart you got there, but it looks to me like it's pretty much got nothing but sea drawn on it. It's pathetic. In fact, it's almost as an insult to call that thing a sea chart, if you ask me. What's the matter, small fry? I'm just trying to be nice here. I'm telling you that you've got a problem, and you do. Don't give me that stupefied look. It makes you look like it, you ought to be in diapers. Just listen, okay? I'm here, to, I'm here to teach you what I know about the, sea, the island. So open up your sea chart and make it snappy. Dragon Roost Island. There's a real peculiar cave towards the backside of this this here island, Dragon Roost Island. Yeah, real peculiar, but I doubt you'll ever get there to see it, small fry, unless you manage to sprout wings and fly, that is. Because you won't be getting there otherwise. That's all I can teach you, small fry. But I will do this for you, since I'm feeling so generous. I'll send word to all my brethren living near the islands of the Great Sea. But good bunch of fish. If you see a fish leaping out of the water when you sail near the island, sail up to it and spread bait out on the water surface. Trust me, this is good advice, Fry. See, the baiting process allows you to get a chart of the island along with any info that might come might be of use to you. I highly recommend you make a habit of doing so. See, you're definitely going to need a reliable sea chart to help you search for things out at sea. I can't emphasize, emphasize that enough, Fry. You need a well-drawn chart. If you don't get a chart for every island you come across, it'll just be a bigger hassle for you later on. on. Now don't say I didn't I did, never did anything for you, Fry. Hoy, you there. You kingly red lion guy. That's it. I've repaid my debt. I'm done. You take care of the rest. Whee! Yeah, um... I don't think I can go yet, but starting from this next destination... I know, starting, I think it's after this next destination, I can start freely sailing, and I might get every island I get by. That way uh, I can knock out a bunch of them. Because later we are going to have to go scavenge around a bunch of the islands. We Almost didn't make that. Yeah! Like, we'll be over there soon. You know what? No. How much bait do I got on me? Oh, I have more than enough. Alright, so he's over there. And then throw some bait on the side. What, you don't smell the bait? There we go. Wasted one bait. Gonna have to get more. Hi, small fry. Yeah, yeah, I've heard it. I take it you'll want a chart and information about this island. Then stop by opening up your seat chart. Dun, 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 dun. Fire Mountain. You see that there volcano that's spewing out lava there, like there's no... Ugh. You see that there volcano that's spewing out lava like there's no tomorrow? Yeah? Well, they say there's a, a great treasure hidden deep inside that thing. The thing is, everyone who's ever tried to get inside has just been blasted away by the great balls of fire that come shooting off the top. If you want to get inside, you ought to go find the island that's one square north and four squares west of here. That's where the f power to freeze anything is hidden. Or so they say. Maybe it's not true, but it wouldn't hurt to look, Fry. And that's all I've, the info I've got to offer. If you want to hear again, you'll have to throw some more bait on the water for me. Sorry, but that's my policy, Fry. I can't go fight Negable on an empty stomach, you know. And with that, I'm off. I just love the, the I love the concept of them all sounding exactly alike. No. Yeah. I don't want it. No. Okay, so we need... I'm gonna get all these islands to start us off. 
That way we at least have four. I'm going to get us to the next island and then that'll be it for this episode. My god. I could literally just listen to this music for hours, just relaxing. Had to make sure I'm going on the right path. The next island is right there. Beautiful, isn't it? Oh, dear God. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, I don't like storms. No, 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 sorry, Bob. I do not like storms. No, sorry. This is not good. This is very bad, I tell you. Very bad indeed. The storms are bad, I tell you. Okay. So two things can happen with a storm. Either we're going to have to deal with a cyclone, or you're going to be dealing with a giant octorok. And you don't want to deal with a giant octorok. Gentlemen? Let's get this dude. Oh god, I see him. Hoi, small fry! Yeah, yeah, I've heard blah 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 blah. That, we don't have to keep reading. The information they give, I can read. Eastern Triangle Island. Tell me, small fry, have you ever caught a fairy before? Because from what I've been told, when you've been beaten to a pulp by monsters and such, and you think that you've finally met your match, if you've got a fairy with you, then you've got nothing to worry about. Don't you wish you had something handy for carrying fairies around with you, fry? If you want one, go south from here until you see a miserable-looking submarine floating on the island, or flo floating on the sea. Look there. And that's all the info I've got to offer. If you want to hear it again, you'll have to blah 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 blah. All right. Yeah, that's a small Octorok. That's not the ones I'm worried about. Okay, we got two more islands. The next one is over there to the left, and then the one we need to go to is, is right there to the right. So, we are almost done. That. There we go. Okay, are you on the left or right, buddy? Fine, I'll play your little game. I did it. Yeah. Okay, I think he's... Uh, yeah, he's right there in front of us. We're good. Yeah, it, it's better to have these islands marked early. Otherwise, it becomes a pain in the ass later. There we go. What island be this? Hoi, small fry! They all have the same voice. Yeah, they're 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 all the same person basically. It's like it's like the Garys. This is Bomb Island. Kind of figured. You ought to come sail these seas on nights when the right half of the moon is missing. It'll give you shivers, fry. And that's all the info I got to offer. Okay. Not that. All right, so we only got one more island on the path, I believe. Yeah, because that's a submarine. Yeah, the next one is where we need to go. So let's do this. But then again, let me show you what happens when you do this with those glowing things right there. Cruise a little bit. And then you do this. And look at that, we got something. He's so in intrigued. What's what's in it? It's 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 a rupee for fifty dollars. Technically fifty rupees, but you know the joke. Found fifty bucks. The sun is about to rise, you could see it. It's either going to rise or fall. It's beautiful. We're almost there. Once we get the bow, 
which is in the Tower of the Gods. Uh, that is the third temple, I believe. Uh, then we can take on uh, the Wind God's brother. Because if we can take on his brother, we obtain the ability, which is the most useful ability in the game, uh, the ability to uh, teleport. Hey. Yes. Do you not see what rises up from the horizon? That is where you must go, Shade. The Forest Haven. I love the theme of Forest Haven. Not going to be able to get Forest Haven until after we finish. It may appear as though this is but a great tree rising far above the ocean surface. But it is a sacred place. It is inside this grotto that you will find the spirit of the earth. The great Deku tree. You must speak with the Deku tree and receive from him the sacred gem known as Ferrari's Pearl. I fear that Ganon's vile hand may have already reached the most sacred of sanctuaries. Go forth with caution, Shade. Okay. That's where we're going to end this episode, guys. So thank you everyone so much for watching. In the next episode, we'll be going to, uh, inside Forest Haven. And the next dungeon is right over there, that side. So we are on our way to the second dungeon. So look forward to all that. But until then, guys, I, I hope you all enjoy the rest of your day, and I will talk to you all tomorrow.